channel in today's video I'm gonna be using the um, boxycharm products we got uh, for March uh, I'm gonna be using this cover effects face palette the morphe 15n the, I think it was called night palette the iconic London eyebrow uh, cushion and the motor brushes and also this IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. So I'm gonna be starting off with this. It's my first time um, applying the CC cream to my face. So. Smells really good. Like lemony. Oh, that's too much. It's kind of like a yellowish, light yellowish color, like a banana color. I wash my face already with my Neutrogena facial scrub. Oh, this feels nice. It absorbs quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna apply my foundation and um, then I'll be back when it's time for the brows. Okay guys, so my foundation is on. For um, primer, I used from Soap and Glory, one, one heck of a blot. I love this primer. And I used the It Cosmetic CC Cream for foundation. And by the way, if I'm talking a little soft, it's because it's like 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm getting ready for work, so. <clears throat> now moving on to this iconic London eyebrow cushion. I never tried an eyebrow product that's so like wet, so I'm a little nervous about this. This is what it looks like. And here's the brush. One side is spooly, the other side is an angled brow brush. So I'm going to comb through. If you see me looking down, my mirror is down here. The br brush is nice. One side has like longer um, bristles, the other side shorter. I also like to use these for my lashes too, to comb through them. All right, so I'm gonna start off trying this lighter side right here. This lighter brown side and see how that goes. I don't do too much with my brows because as you can see, I have brows. I just fill out some of the blank parts. Like I have a spot here that's kind of like bald and then this side too and then on top of here doesn't have as much as the other side so I just try to really even them out oh this is not bad this is actually easy to work with Side, I'm missing more hair on top of here, so let's see. I'm gonna say, good product, easy to work with. Did my brows faster with this than I did with the pencil, so I do like this. I will definitely continue using it. Okay, 
Okay, so brows are done. I'm gonna prime my lids and I'll be back for the um, eyeshadow look. Okay, so eyes are primed and um, I'm gonna get into this Morphe palette here. I'm gonna be setting my lids with this shade here called Custom, right there. It's like a green color shade. This uh, Morphe M five seven six. Naked Pigments from Naked Cosmetics, and it's in a purple shade. It doesn't have a name, it just says SN04. By Morphe M421. It's a flat, um, shader brush, a small one. And it's kind of like a magnet, it just sticks. Sticks to the brush. If you can see it. Sparkly, that's it. Just put this on the inner corner. brush I'll be right so I'm gonna wet it with my Smashbox Centering Citrus Primer Water and that'll get 
give it more of a, a better effect. There, yes it does. Going for this purpley look today to match my shirt. I'm wearing purple. pretty I haven't used these pigments in a while and I forgot how pretty they are I have this like platinum gold colored one it's so pretty the eye look came out beautiful I love it so I'm gonna apply mascara and I will be back when it's time to, for the cover effects face palette okay, so mascara is on I used the uh, um, better than sex by Too Faced this is my mini version. We did get it in February's BoxyCharm. And there's a lot of people that don't like that mascara. And I don't know. It works for me. They say it crumbles and stuff like that. But it gives me volume and length and everything. I think it crumbles when you, like, put too many layers of it. That might, that's my opinion. But it works for me, so I'm good with it. So moving on to the Cover FX face palette, I'm gonna be using this, I'm gonna go in first with this brightener to put in my inner corners. There. Brighten up the inner corners. I'm gonna use this um, angled pen, uh, brush we got in uh, BoxyCharm a couple months back. brightness not too much here we go shade right there I saw that that blush is very pigmented so I got to be careful with that I'm using the R I think it's 14 by the way for contour like too much contour just use a little bit like that face I get right in there Get 
for the nose, I use this G41. It's like perfect. And under the bottom lip. Okay, now let's move on to the brush. And I'm gonna be using the brushes we got in Boxy, well, Boxy Lux I got from Moda. I'm gonna use this one for blush. I'm a little scared of this blush. I saw how pigmented it goes on and Very light hand with it. I like light natural everything, not too much of anything. And if I put too much, I'll just go over it with my um, sponge I use for the foundation. That's all. That'll even it out. Just a little touch, maybe a little bit more. Perfect, just a little touch of pink on the cheeks is perfect. There we go. Next for highlighter, I'm gonna be going in with this lighter shade here. Let me spray my face with the Smashbox Priming Water. Just go up with the sponge a little bit. And I'll take the Morphe R R36 Highlight. No! I'm supposed to use, sorry, the Moda brush. This big, big old fluffy highlighting brush. Sorry, forgot about that. I'm just so used to using the other one. This is like kind of flimsy. I like to put some on the cheeks because I like my cheeks to glow. Very pretty. See that glow? Wow. Love it. Let me get some on the nose. Who doesn't love that? Keep it low. And then the chin. This feels so soft. I like how it feels when you rub it on your face. It's like, it's a flimsy brush, but it does feel nice. And we are done with the face. Oh, let me get the brow bone with the brightener. Last but not least, I'm going to be using this, oh, I got hair in my mouth, it's by Becca called Dusk, the lipstick I got in Boxy Lux, very pretty color, it's a nude, it's 
Don't mind my hair. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> This is the completed look, but I'm gonna be back when I fix my hair so you can see everything all done and ready. So I will be back. Okay guys, so here is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed my video. I really like how it came out. What do you guys think? How it looks nice. This is the, the purple shirt I was trying to match with my eye look, see? It's not the same purple, but it's still purple, so. <laughs> All right, heading so. out to work right now, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.